Hello folks, welcome to Seno Saka Hellblade 2. Um, the thing is, uh, I know that I'm doing the games out of uh, order. Uh, there is no particular order when I do video games at all. Um, I just thought that I should do the, recent, the most recent game first and then do the uh, first one later down in the timeline or whenever that might be uh this is recorded prior to completely uploading the evil west but in the end of the day it doesn't matter how i or when i complete the uploads for the channel as long as people actually enjoy them uh, so I thought we should uh, stru jump straight into it and let's have some cinematic fun with the game. Uh, admittedly, I was pretty excited for the game to come out uh, prior to the, its release, but there have been some minor issues with the game, uh, which I am going to take into account, but... I'm going to enjoy regardless of bad reviews, bad performance or whatever. I play games for the games they are, how they are and stuff like that. Um, it's gonna be fun. Uh, I really love the, the first one. I did beat it a very long time ago. But I will beat it again or for the channel eventually or after I am done with this particular game. So, I hope you enjoy the content. If you do, give a like, subscribe, uh, comment down below what folks you like to see in the nearby future. With that being said, let's jump straight into it and let's have some genu genuine fun. And let's watch a recap. I don't have sub sub subtitles on for the game. The outcast who became a warrior, who faced her demons and challenged the gods for her lover's soul, has accepted the voices, the furies, as part of herself. Just like her mother Galena, she was not like other people. She saw and heard the world differently. Her father, Zinbel, told her she was evil, tainted by the sin of her mother. Tormented and afraid, she retreated from the world. Until love broke through like the rays of a new dawn. In Dillion's acceptance, she could live again. He gave light to her mind and freed a warrior from her body. But the voice of her father stayed with her, reminding her of her curse. And when the plague came to her land, the people blamed Senua. She took her darkness with her banishing herself to the wilds. So she was not there when the Northmen massacred her people and sacrificed Dillion to the god of hell. Senua's torment was so deep that the world around her fell away. She took the head of her beloved, the vessel of his soul, and vowed to go to hell herself to save him. Through mist-shrouded horrors, she fought to find the secret path that would lead her to the very gates of hell. But the way was marked by fire and illusion. Senua had to fight the gods that guarded these paths and stave off the rot which threatened to consume her mind and end her life. Only conquest could open the gates. Only blood would bring her face to face with Hela. 
face to face with defeat. Once again, Senua was engulfed in darkness, lost in a maze of misery and confusion. Until Dillian's voice led her to the promise of victory. A sword that could kill a god. To win the sword, Senua would drown in her darkest memories, pulling at the shards lodged in flesh, mind, and soul. She pressed deeper into the underworld, resisting its grasping hands and deafening cries, until she found her prize before the guardian of Hell's gates. Senua released her rage, a fury that could not be stopped, not by savage jaws, not by waves of warriors, not by the pull of death itself. In defeat and desperation, Senua begged for her beloved's release. But a sacrifice must be made, and burdens cast away. Senua's fate was never in the hands of the gods, but in her own. She could choose, out of love, to live, to go on, and to take us with her. Well, that's a recap then. All right. Always fun to listen to those things. Cool.
Oh, look, we washed the shore. 